Hi, this is Mahmoud Ahmed. In the last lecture, we've learned how we can connect our designer UI file to a Python file. And we've also added the main class of our app and we've taken an object from this class and we show it and we created the main loop of our UI to enable us to show the main or the app design in front of our eyes. So let's run our code to see the final output. This is our final output. This lecture we will start joining our or start putting our code structure and the index to by file so that we can know how can we actually uh, define the structure of our app UI or uh, coding in an organized way in the project so that you can uh, test everything and uh, enable all the features we need. Okay, first of all we have this main class we need to create some uh, methods in this class. First of all, we will define an init UI. I call it init UI, but you can call it any name you need, actually. And I'll give a pass here. I'll define why we need this uh, method of while, actually. And we need to define another uh, method, this method for handling handle buttons. I'll add all, all the buttons in our app in this method. Just to be in an organized way, if you have any error in any button, just you will check this method. Only this method. Okay. And we need another method for handling progress. Just to fill us the progress. Handle. Progress. Yeah, just like this. And let's... And we need another one for handling browse. Okay, and we need another one for handling or for downloading. Let's call it download. Yeah. Now we've created five methods in our main class. Why we need all these methods? And actually, we need we kind of need another method for for save. Let's save. Browse Yeah, just like this First of all, this init UI method will contain uh, all the UI changes in loading So if we need to, to change anything in the design uh, when the user initiate the app or run the app, we need to, to make this change in the, our init UI. So we will import this in this constructor. So for the init UI, just like this. Okay. And the handle buttons, this method handle all buttons in the app. So all the buttons in our download manager will be Buried in this method. So if we have any error, as I said before, we will check only this method. Okay, and we also we need to import it in the constructor handle buttons. Yeah, just like this. Handle progress. This method will calculate the progress for us based on the file size. Actually, this method will take some parameters from us, like the block sum. Uh, block size and so on on the total side and it will give us the, the remaining time okay the handle browse will enable us or give us the feature to enable browsing to uh, our OS so that we can make our C application easily actually and this, the download method will enable us to download from uh, download any files. So downloading for any file. Okay. And uh, the save browser will enable us to save, uh, let's say, uh, save location 
on the line in it after you browse uh, after you browse using the browse button when you click the save location unit to get that boss and put it in the line edit let's run the code and that's when it in the UI when we click this button browse and we go move to like this folder then I click save in this folder we need the path of, of this folder and this location just right key okay I think this is enough for now we will add another methods for downloading from YouTube adding some animations uh, controlling the style and so on okay so now we have any 2 i for all the changes and the UI and the loading or in the runtime handle buttons this method will contains all the buttons in our app handle progress this method will help us calculate the progress of our down or the, of the download and we have handle browse this will enable us for browsing and to save location download this method will download any file and save browse this will save the, 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 the this browse location and our line edit okay now let's run our app UI and let's add the basic connecting from a button to a line edit now when I, I need when I press this download button I got a print on the screen that uh, I'll start download now okay let's add this first of all we need to connect let's run I'm sorry this area uh, first of all we need to connect this download button with the download method so that when I press this download this will execute the download method which will take the URL from here the save location from here and start downloading and they give this information to the handle brokers function just to enable us to broker to, to give us information about the download progress and this progress bar okay uh, let's create a simple thing as I said before I, I wanna when I press this button I see a brand statement here with uh, short downloading okay first of all we will connect this button uh, this button download with this method download and the handle brokers method okay let's get the name of this button from here every every widget in in by pt5 have two names as two names the first one is the, the name like here download the user will see what will see it but the other name for or the object name for coding like this push button so we will copy this push button right here and i'll type in handle buttons cell dot push button dot collect dot connect just the same of this pass this will uh, connect this button when i click that with self dot download do not forget to remove this parentheses just like this yeah so when i press this button right now this will fire that method and we will see this method executing so we need to uh, give it a brand statement like uh, starting download just like this let's run our app and now yeah we didn't include this if i type download we can see searching download and if we press it again many times we will see searching download searching download searching download we've just connected this button with this method using click that connect so when i click this method the connect will enable us to fire this method okay and this is working because we've we've imported this handle button method and our constructor so when we when we run our code this handle method will be executed so that we will have this button listening when i click it it will fire the this method okay this is great now i think we've added the, the symbol structure for our app view for our now I think we've added the sample structure of our app coding code. So in the next lecture we will start coding uh, our download method. We will learn how can we get the URL, how can we browse to the save location, how can we calculate the download file progress and so on, and how can we download it actually in our local system. 
Hope you like this video and if you have any questions, please leave it in the discussion forums and not forget to share this share your feedback and rating with me if you have any discussion send it a message send me a message about it and see you next time